Now Oliver, yet another hand pass for the season. Lever, Hibbert, spoiled by Green. That'll be a matchup to watch as well. Coming through again is Toby Green. He's got it out the back. Toby to get the Giants underway. Great start for the visitors. He's going to wait for his forwards to lead back inside 50. McDonald came across. There's a clash of bodies there involving harm. The move's got to be made pretty quick. We're just having a little oh, bit of a no, major Jack, one. Jack Buckley there, you can see his knee. Looks inside, dangerous oh. kick. They're lining up the Demons. Neil Bullen goes forward. He's got an option on 50 from the turnover. It's McDonald. Pickett runs inside 50. Langdon's out oh. the back. It's in towards Pickett. What about that for a kick? It was because behind the play, Stephen May was on his own. He was free again. Pickett plays on four last time he met the Giants. He's got his first. And Melbourne are on the board. Ward over the top to Hopper. Hopper Good. says, go for it, Toby. Go. Run hard, Tobes. And he does. He puts one player out of business. Gets himself into position oh. 1A. Pops one high and gets the free kick. And will line up from 45 metres. He thought it through beautifully. So 50% of his shots go through here, and he's pushed it out wide. Coming back, it's come back beautifully. He kicks his second. Toby Green is the arch villain for the Melbourne Football Club today. Hopper in particular can get on the end of it. And head down to Taranto. He just waltzes through the pack and snags it. Just as Lee Montagna said. That's what could happen, it does, and the Giants all of a sudden get their third and sneak away. Himmelberg looks inside, stubs his toe almost. Oh, down he goes, Ward. But Ward gets the last save from 15 metres out on the tight angle. To make it three in a row for GWS, and have a look at that. He splits the middle, and that is a professional at the height of his powers. Jackson. Has runners out wide. Brayshaw puts it out in front of his teammate, and the mark has been taken by Sparrow. Needs to kick this one. Nine minutes to go in this second turn to get Melbourne going. And he strikes it beautifully and gets the demon second. And out Perryman, right foot slider down towards a contest. Oh, Toby Green. What about this man? He's already kicked two. Looking for a third goal. From just inside 50, leans back on a Toby Green, enjoys everything about it. He's got three, and again, the Giants skip away to a three-goal lead. The right option's in the middle now. In Lason's deep forward, Whitfield, beautiful kick of the football, goes shorter to Kelly. Here's danger. He could hit it himself from 50. Fane the hand pass, drives for home. Kelly! Hand pass. I'm sure even Brayshaw was expecting it. His ball hugs the line. Davis takes on Neil Bourne. Did he get it on his foot? He didn't. Neil Bourne to give the Demons fans a bit of hope going into the break. What a finish that is from Alex Neil Bourne. Melbourne fans are up. Trades the tackle pretty easily in the end. Neil Bourne, a little bit of faint. He wants someone to come towards him. Fought his way through it. And Fritsch, it was a beautiful kick for goal marks deep on the outer side. This year, has this part of the game very, very well. Fritsch. Oh. Super finish. Exactly what the Demons needed. Pickett lurking. Handballs back to Gorn. Gorn chips to the forward pocket. Oliver's there. Oh, Fritsch goes up a ball. What a mark. What a sensational mark as Bailey Fritsch goes up and takes a scream. Ward, who has played sensationally today, to the top of the square. The big flyers go up. Himmelberg at the fall of the ball does well enough. Can he get it out? Now he does. Shovels it out. Comes out to Reed. Reed around the body. He's got it, I think. Reed kicks the big goal. The answer for GWS. Winds the ball inside 50. Himmelberg had his name all over it. Then Harry will line up. Style operator. Runs out to the right. Himmelberg drives it long, drives it straight and drives it home. Across to Hunt. Just measuring their kicks. And again, McDonald presents. He's done that all day. He's been great. The kick is a ripper. To Salem, who plays on. 
from 40 directly in front and puts it through the middle. That was great football, Melbourne. Petty to McDonald just loads up with a high ball inside 50. Fritch, one grab, two grabs. This time the umpire says it to Mark Bailey and he'll line up for the biggest kick of the afternoon to a 10-point margin and lift the MCG crowd. Trots in, absolutely loves it, does Bailey Fritz. The demons are coming. Being held was he no picket at the full of the ball. Here's Petreka. He gets it out wide. Langed it around the body. No. Someone kick a drop punt. Tarando looks inside. Oh, the kick just chopped off. Well done by Lever. Green goes again, kept running. Hill out wide. Whitfield lines them up and puts it right through the middle. What a goal! What a goal! Whitfield, all class. The umpires talking to each other. Gorn goes up, gets the tap. Gorn goes again. Oliver back to Gorn. Gorn for the miracle kick is offline and through for a behind. So, but with nine seconds on the clock, it's all over. Driving ball to the wing to a contest. Haynes floats across the pack, comes out in the hands of the Giants. A famous win for the Giants. Hands in the air, Mumford with a big flex. And the Giants, as we speak, are in the top eight. They've knocked over the ladder leaders in Melbourne.